Hey riders, welcome to another video in our Adventure Motorcycle Gear Review Series. I'm Eric Lang with Ride Adventures. I've been riding and guiding motorcycle trips around the world and here in Oregon for over 10 years now. Today's video, we're going to talk about one of our favorite dual sport tires, the Heidenau K60 Scout, help you decide if it's the right tire for you. Okay, when I said it was one of our favorite dual sport tires, that's in over 10 years of operating a motorcycle touring and renting business on multiple continents around the world. And with our customers all combined now, we've got over 5 million miles on the Heidenau K60 Scout. It's been a great performer for us. I think I'm gonna walk through here the pros and cons of it for you, and I think it'll help you decide whether it's the right tire for you. One of the first things we like about it is that you could call this really a, a great 50-50 on pavement, off pavement type of a tire tread and pattern. You know, our, our, a lot of the routes that we design around the world have been focused on exactly that adventure bike riding, mixed variety, bouncing back and forth from pavement to dirt all day long. And as you can see there, it really is an aggressive tire pattern that will do well in the dirt, but it grips well on the pavement. In over 5 million miles, I am not aware of a failure, like a manufacturer defect that has caused any problems for us. So that's quite a lot of ground that our customers have covered and no problems. That's a good sign for this tire. So the K60 Scout is known for having kind of a stiff carcass made from a, a hard rubber, which has a downside, a con I'll mention in a minute. But the upside to it is that riders have actually been seen Unfortunately, riding with a flat tire, a hole or something like that, a leak and not realizing, but that is kind of a nice feature to have instead of having it go dead flat. If you've ever had that happen and you know what happens when the rubber sort of flops off to the side of the rim, going dead flat like that uh, can be a dangerous situation trying to keep the bike upright. So a little bit of a run flat scenario is potentially a, to your advantage. So it's because of that firm rubber, that stiff carcass, that this tire has an excellent longevity factor for it. You know, different riders are gonna get different total mileage out of these tires, you know, depending on engine size, how you're using it, terrain, how much throttle you're pouring on, all these different factors. I'm not gonna claim for you what you can expect out of this tire, but it is known to be a longer lasting tire. And that can come in to be really handy if you're taking a long trip and don't wanna have to have another tire waiting for you in a remote part of the world. You know, maybe having one tire to get you through your trip is your advantage. Earlier this year, Heidenau announced a new cold compound that was being released only in a few sizes. This one's a 17, I believe that one is a cold compound, and they have the 18 as well. We hope that they do more of that in the future because that is gonna help riders in cold and wet situations gain a little bit more grip. It's got a little softer rubber to it that way, and so it's gonna hold up better in some situations. And at the very least, it is kind of a good looking tire and it's nice to have good looking shoes on your bike, isn't it? So while this is a great tire, it does have what some people would say a few downsides to it. One of those being that it does get sort of a flat tread pattern after use for a while. You'll see how it levels off perhaps a little bit quicker than some others do. Um, especially in relation to the deep lugs on the sides there with enough mileage you and you know depending on how much you're leaning turning while you're riding whether you're riding those chicken strips or not it is going to flatten out perhaps a little more than some tires will in the middle like that also because of the very stiff carcass it has i mentioned that makes for a very stiff carcass when it comes to changing the tire if you're ever having to take it off the wheel on the side of the road you better have that third tire iron and probably a friend with you because again, being very stiff, it can be a lot to leverage that thing on and off. And that goes as well for actually getting the bead to seat then, you actually getting it to pop. Uh, if you're using it, especially in a tubeless situation, getting that thing to seat, a stiff carcass, better have that thing pretty well lubed up if you want it to sit on the rim just fine. And then lastly, because of this stiff carcass and the firmer rubber I mentioned, it is not known to be uh, one of the better wet tire or cold tires out there in the market. You know, some softer compounds, again, softer compounds that don't last as long as this, but softer compounds do tend to grip a little bit better in cold weather or wet weather situations. But again, they've introduced a new cold weather compound, which should address that issue a little bit for you. So no tire is gonna be perfect in all situations, right? The softer ones don't last as long, 
but they grip better. The harder ones last longer, but they're maybe a little less perfect in the wet and the cold and things like that. A lot of factors to balance back and forth. Ultimately, it's been a great tire for us. Like I said, no failures in all these years and probably work out quite well for you if you're looking to do multiple terrains over many miles. So hope this information helps you. We'll put links in the description below if you wanna check these products out. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notifications button for future video reviews that we're gonna be doing and uh, let us know what it is you wanna learn about. Put it in the description below. Look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks everyone for watching. Today's video, we're gonna review one of the most Today's video, we're gonna review one of our favorite dual sport tires. <laughs> I have no case. God, we were almost. Today's video, we're gonna talk about one of our favorite dual sport tires, the Hyden LK60 Scout, and help you decide if it's the right adventure bike tire for you. Ah, so close.